The Story of Major the Tractor by Rod Simpson. The sun was shining and the birds were singing happily. Farmer Dan's big brother Stan drove the little old grey tractor back from Applegarth village to Sunnybank Farm. He stopped at the bottom of Sunnybank Lane to let the traffic go past on the main road. The little tractor started to shudder and shake. Everything shook, even poor Stan's teeth. The little old engine didn't want to go. Stan was not very happy, especially when a van driver shouted, Get a move on, Grandad! You shouldn't be on the road with that smelly old tractor! Stan tried to whiz across the road when a gap appeared in the traffic, but the little grey tractor just crawled slowly across. It was almost hidden in a huge cloud of smoke, and pops, bangs, clonking and groans came from the engine. As they picked up speed along Sunnybank Lane, they left the cloud of smoke behind. Stan's face was bright red, except for the parts that were covered in the large black patches of soot that were now pouring out of the exhaust. No, oh, no, muttered Stan. This is the final straw. The old tractor has to go. Stan and the old tractor struggled up the lane into the farmyard, the engine gasping and wheezing. Suddenly, there was a huge bang, then a hiss of steam. The old tractor had finally stopped working. It was tired and worn out. It had taken ages to get the little tractor started each morning. Stan complained to Farmer Dan, and he complained to Mother Button. He made such a fuss. Stan is so fed up with that little tractor, he'll be complaining to the cows about it next, Farmer Dan said to Mother Button with a chuckle. At that moment, Stan came storming into the kitchen, his face still red and covered with black soot. He looked so funny that Farmer Dan and Mother Button had to struggle not to laugh at him. He was so angry that he marched straight in without taking off his muddy boots. This is the finish! That thing, that useless piece of rubbish, has just got to go! He raged. Whatever has upset you this time, Stan? asked Mother Button. It's that, that stupid old tractor, snapped Stan. I have spent so much money on that useless thing and now it has packed up altogether. I think we should get rid of it and buy a new one. The old tractor had finally stopped working and Stan didn't keep anything that didn't work. Try and fix it, Dan. If you can't, just get rid of the useless thing, said Stan, passing the problem on to Farmer Dan. Over the next few weeks, Dan spent a lot of time at Jimmy Owen's scrapyard, and there, under a heap of rusty cars and vans, Farmer Dan spotted a very big, old blue tractor with a good engine. Jimmy Owen laughed. <laughs> that big engine will never fit into that little grey tractor. Dan didn't know what make of tractor he was taking the engine from, as the badge was broken, and all that remained was the letter M. Dan decided to keep the letter to put onto the little grey tractor. Over the weeks, Farmer Dan worked on the engine and rebuilt it into the little grey tractor. He fitted new tyres and painted parts of the little grey tractor bright red, yellow and blue. Soon it was completed and Dan was just about to start the big engine when he noticed some hay and straw sticking out of the exhaust. Thinking it could be dangerous, Farmer Dan pulled at the hay. Suddenly, to Farmer Dan's surprise, there was a small squeak and a tiny pink nose with little twitchy whiskers appeared from the end of the exhaust. A little mouse had made a nest inside. She must have made it when everything was lying in pieces on the tractor shed floor, thought Farmer Dan. He jumped down from the tractor and walked around thoughtfully, stroking his chin. How do I start the big engine without hurting the little mouse, he thought. Then he had an idea. There was nothing else for it. 
he would have to chop off the exhaust. Dan searched around in the heaps of tools, piles of nuts and bolts, and pieces of metal, until finally he found what he was looking for. Then he returned to the tractor with a large hacksaw. As Dan started sawing, he couldn't help but smile to himself. With a little laugh, he said, Oh, you'll soon be safe, little mouse, to bring up your family in your new little house. Soon the end of the exhaust was propped up safely on some sacks in the corner of the workshop, and Farmer Dan started up the big engine. Vroom, vroom, vroom! It sounded great. Farmer Dan couldn't wait any longer. He drove the colourful little grey tractor into the village, now with a huge blue engine in it and a badge on the front that said M. All Farmer Dan's friends in the village clapped and cheered, shouting, That's a major improvement! So, from that day, Major was the name for Dan's little tractor. <laughs>